I'm extremely passionate about helping people grow a lot of food in a little bit of space, and that's what this green stock garden helps us do. If you've been around the channel for a while, you know that this channel started as a pepper specific channel, and I am absolutely in love with my peppers. So we're growing 30 pepper plants in this, and the goal is to see how many pounds of peppers we can grow in this by the end of the season. So real quick, before we keep going, go down in the comments and let me know what your guess is for how many pounds of peppers we can grow in this this season. All right, now let's talk about how I feel about this after using it for about two months. Let's just go ahead and start off by saying I'm extremely impressed with this, more so than I even expected to be. Half of the plants on this tower have peppers already. The other half of the plants are flowering and getting ready to produce peppers, and everything on this tower is extremely healthy. And we have put less effort into this than anything else in our entire garden, and this is still producing better than anything else we have. We haven't fertilized this tower a single time since planting it out. For the last three weeks here in Utah, we've had temperatures roughly between 95 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So this thing has just been cooking in the sun and it's sitting out in the full sun. It doesn't really get any shade all day long. I will say that we haven't really been able to follow the whole line rule where it shows you, you know, fill it to this line for X amount of tiers, this line for if you have the full five tiers for how much water you're putting in. That doesn't really apply to us right now because of how hot it's been. Realistically, every other day or so, I've been filling up the water container about three times to completely soak the whole tower through because it's just so hot that everything's evaporating that quickly. But I will say that the patented watering system on this really is as good as they say it is. When I water from the top, it waters the entire tower evenly. Every single tier of this tower gets the exact same amount of water. And I honestly couldn't be happier with the watering system on this. About once a day, maybe every other day, we take the, we take the tower and we spin it around so that way it gets even sun distribution. And with the wheelbase that we have on this, it makes it extremely easy. Even when this thing is completely soaked with water, I can still move the entire tower around like it's nothing. The wheels make it easy to move. I can lock the wheels when I don't want it to move and I can unlock the wheels when I want to spin it around. All right, so we've got a decent amount of peppers for our first harvest here. So let's go ahead and get harvesting these and get them weighed and see what we get for our first harvest. All right, like I said, it is very, very hot here in Utah. So I'm gonna be going through this as quickly as possible. It's over hundred degrees right now and I'm sweating. I'm hot, I'm ready to get inside. I want these plants to keep growing so that way they can all kind of produce at the same time. They can get some size on them before they produce. So right now I'm just gonna be pulling off everything that is either big enough or ready to go. We got a red shishito here. Here. A little bit too ripe, but we also have a full plant of green shishitos. A lot of these plants started flowering and fruiting early. So what that did is it kind of stunted the growth of a lot of these and they only put off a couple flowers, they put on fruit and then they started growing that fruit and that kind of slows down what the harvest potentially could have been. Holy cow, look at that pimento de padrone. And this is just the first tiny little harvest of the season. So a lot of these aren't quite ripe yet, but they're ripe enough. So what I'll end up doing, making a verde type sauce with a lot of these green peppers, especially these pimento de padrones because these things are just so good when they're green. I'm just running circles around. <laughs> I could have done this a much smarter way and worked my way slowly around making sure I got them all. All right, here's what we got. Let's go ahead and go over into the shade where it's not quite so hot and we'll get these weighed. Talk about hot, holy cow. Whew. I was literally out there for five minutes picking peppers and I am just sweating. Okay, I wanna kinda highlight this pepper here. I've done a whole video on these peppers before, but really I just can't talk about them enough. This is a Pimento de Padron. Normally you wanna harvest these when they're red, but what I'm gonna do with this one is this was the very first pepper in that whole entire tower garden that actually set fruit. And it ended up turning into one of the biggest peppers and really good healthy Pimento de Padron. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this on the counter and let it finish ripening, ripening because with the seeds for these, you wanna harvest the seeds when it's red. So although they might not be the best to eat when they're red, that is when you wanna harvest the seeds. So that's what, that's what I'm doing with this one. But if you've never heard of a Pimento de Padron, definitely go check them out. Go Google it, look them up. What we normally do is we'll take these and you just put them in like a cast iron skillet with some olive oil and some salt. You can literally just sit there and snack on them or have them as like a side dish to a full bowl and meal. Awesome, awesome, awesome pepper, even for somebody that can't handle a lot of heat. Here's what we got for the first little harvest there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run inside, grab the scale, and we're gonna weigh this and see what we're looking at as far as weight goes. And so right now it's showing that it's three pounds, 2.2 ounces, and I don't want that to be added to the weight of the peppers. So I'm gonna zero that out. All right, so now we're sitting at zero. So when I pull this off, it makes that number negative. But now what I can do, so now we're sitting at zero, I can fill all the peppers up. All right, one pound, 6.55 ounces. All right, so just over a pound, not bad for the first, just kinda one-off harvest there. If you're getting value from this video, give it a big tower garden, thumbs up, and then share it with all your friends so that way everybody can see how awesome this tower garden is. All right, so we got roughly over a pound of peppers, which isn't too bad based on that, not really being a full 
full harvest. That was just kind of some random peppers on all the plants. And now that I stripped all the peppers off the plants, now they're really gonna start going into production mode and giving me some really, really good harvest. If you haven't already, go let me know in the comments what your guess is for how many pounds of peppers I'll be growing in this tower this year. If you or anyone else you know might be interested in getting one of these tower gardens, I'm not an affiliate of Green Stocks, but I am part of their referral program. And what that is, is if you go to the link down in the description below, it will take you to their website. And as long as you buy through that link, you will get $10 off, but it also gives me $10 store credit because I'm trying to buy my wife one of these so that way we can get her a nice little tower salad garden. So if you are planning on buying one of these, go down to the link in the description below. It gives you $10 off and it does help me out too. Just a little bit. <laughs> I appreciate it. And if you want to know more about these green stock gardens, go watch this video right here where I plant this one out. I mix the soil. I put everything in it. I get it all set up, give you a lot of information about it. Go watch that video and I'll see you there.